hello and welcome back so in the previous video as I told you we will fix our player if I play the game you will notice that our player is inside the ground as you can see so we don't want that now close up the game now as you can see we have the enemy object right there and the body there so what we will do now let me remove this body now let's move this enemy game object to the ground somewhere right there and then move the body in there now let's play the game now you will notice that our player is now on the ground but not fully because if you see right here the enemy is now right there and the body is up there so we need to make this enemy game object down below again and let's move the body above the ground like that let me check it again now Okay, now as you can see, our enemy is fully on the ground, as you can see. Okay, our enemy is now fully on the ground. So, let me tell you again. You need to move this enemy game object to the ground, okay. Touch it with the ground or you can leave it above a little bit okay you can set it according to your game and then this body should be outside the or you can say above this enemy game object as you can see enemy game object is right there and the body is right there okay and now let's simply move this collider up there okay you need to Make the collider accurate. Okay, so let's move it above. Now it looks good like that. Now, if you play it, as you can see, now the enemy is walking towards the warp point which we set for that enemy and now you will notice that just walk with the enemy okay when he reaches the warp point now he is going towards the next walk point and now when he reaches that walk point you will notice he will move to that other walk point again and he will change his spacing now he reaches that and the reason he stopped because we as you can see we are now in this uh, shooting range okay so that's why he stopped or else if we were not in the shooting radius then he will continue walking yeah, okay so now in the next video we will add the shooting and also the chasing functionality to our enemy so with this done see you guys in the next video